live on Facebook. And one more thing, and we will be ready to go. Hey, Facebook. Um, share this on my page. All right. I think we're good. All right, guys. Happy Sunday. I changed the angle. So if you're used to seeing me come on vegan with a twist, I changed the angle because you guys said so. So you wanted me to, you wanted to be able to see um, as I'm cutting and stuff like that. So I changed the angle. Uh, happy Sunday. Happy, happy Sunday. I've missed you guys. So I was gone Easter Sunday. I didn't do anything. Um, I just sat here and did nothing was a lazy baby and then last week I had a guest um, one of my friends from um, high school came by and we hung out all day so I didn't get a chance to go live but I am back so thank you so much for joining if you are uh, catching this on the replay can you hashtag replay so I can give you some love um, so hi Alexis hello 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 I was just explaining my absence um, and so and it's hot so you guys i'm sweating like really bad i have i am preparing that's not sweating i'm lying that's shea butter baby i am hot but that right there is shea butter um anyway um i'm doing some meal prep for two clients right now so you hear in the background some stuff just boiling over that ain't for y'all that is it's a rainy day here in the dmv today um if you're catching this live and I wanted something savory and uh, help me stick to my sofa uh, and get me ready for the week. So I made um, something different for my clients. But today, for for you guys, I wanted to get us ready for the spring. So we had a few hot days last week, and you know how we are. Um, I'm southern, so we you get it get hot. We don't want no hot food. I don't know. Don't ask me why. We just don't. We want things that'll cool us down. So. I decided that I would put a spin on one of my favorite, absolute most favorite things that I ever had ever from Tropical Smoothie. Excuse me. And that is their chicken salad, tropical chicken salad sandwich. Let me tell y'all. So if y'all, so I'm not vegan again. Okay. My shirt says pseudo vegan. That means I'm not a vegan. I do uh, practice um, eating healthy and I believe in having a I mean, predominantly like um, plant-based lifestyle. Uh, I believe there's balance, and I believe you find harmony and you find your um, sweet spot with your body. Um, but I do believe that we should be healthy. So, but every now and then I have chicken and things like that. And when I do, yo, I like tropical smoothies, tropical chicken salad sandwich. I asked for it on a wrap. If they forget and put it on the sandwich, I scrape that joker off because, you know, try to limit carbs. But baby, that thing is great. So, um, in honor of that tropical smoothie uh, situation, I'm going to make us a tropical chicken salad wrap. So, um, let me know if you have any questions. Again, if you catch it on a replay, still shoot your questions. And when I go back... Uh, and watch it. I'll answer the questions. So let me wash my hands and then I'll get ready to show you guys uh, This is real simple super fast. This is super 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 fast um, But you'll see in a second So I'll start with the ingredients. I probably should list them too, shouldn't I? Probably should list them right. All right. If you're coming up say hi y'all if y'all coming in cuz I can't see y'all Hey y'all I see Alexis. Hey y'all Okay Alexis, can you hit that watch party for me, please? And thank you. All right, so again, we, we're talking about this chicken salad. So we are, we're gonna use chickpeas for our chicken. Uh, if you know me, you know I'm gonna talk about chickpeas forever. Chickpeas are super amazing. They uh, have so many nutrients, they give us so much life. And, and one of the primary things they have that we don't talk about a lot is they're, they're high in fiber. So. You know, you want to make sure that you have a diet that has an, um, enough fiber in your diet so that you can get rid of your waste properly so that your gut is clean and, you know, it, it's easier if you have a high fiber diet for the, for the gut to become clean. But the point is that all the good stuff sticks to the gut. And if the gut canal is full of junk, then all the good stuff that you put in it is just going straight out. It's going in and out, in and out. And what's the point? If you're going to eat 
predominantly well, you know, what's the point of having it where it doesn't even absorb? So you want your gut clean. And one way to do that is to make sure you eat a diet that is very high in fiber. So chickpeas will help with that. They are also very good uh, for you. So we'll start with chickpeas. All right, ingredient list. Alexis, if you're still on, can you hit this for me? So um, if somebody wants to catch the recipe, they will. Can you type in what I'm using, please, if you're still there? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with chickpeas. Um, chickpeas, super duper, uber inexpensive, but very good for you. The brand I use 99.9% .9 of the time comes from Aldi. Aldi, 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 my baby. This is baby boo right here, 49 cent a can. I'm gonna use three of them today because my client is also going to have some of this um, deliciousness and then I'm gonna eat some. So I'm gonna use three cans of garbanzo beans, translation set, AKA chickpeas, AKA life here. Okay, life, all right. And then I'm gonna tear my kitchen up at the same time, y'all, I'm gonna tear this up. Okay, then I'm gonna use vegan mayonnaise. Now. You don't have to be a vegan to, to use this mayonnaise. If you have high blood pressure, if you are watching your weight, anything like that, you want to pick up a vegan mayonnaise. It tastes good. Like, I would stick my finger and lick it right now, but, I mean, it's real good. I'll lick it later. I'll lick, it's really, really a good uh, mayo. This one is made by Hellman's. You can find it in the regular section of your supermarket. This particular one, I live in the DMV, so I got this from our local giant. Um, and it's right there with the regular mayo. So I'm going to use vegan Hellman's mayonnaise. I am also going to use sweet relish because I'm country. That's how we make our chicken salad. Um, I'm not going to use a lot of this because you're going to see in a minute there's another ingredient that I'm going to use. If you are, again, if you're watching your weight, you want to count, make sure that you're looking at the added sugars in this. This is two grams of added sugars per one tablespoon. So not super bad. If you are strict about your sugar, just replace it with dill pickle um, relish. This one comes from Aldi, and this nice 16 ounces is 89 cents. So you wanna use that. Additionally, I'm gonna use my staple, which I always use, my pink Himalayan sea salt that is in my re recycled bottle. I'm also going to use this, which I'm almost out of. It's making me sad. I need to order some more. There's a beautiful young lady I met at the farmer's market. Her name is Nicola. And this is her uh, jerk seasoning. It's so good. She's from Jamaica. It's like true to Jamaican form. It's so, so super, super good. Um, so I'm going to use that because remember, it's a tropical chicken salad. I'm going to give it some flavor, y'all. I'm going to give these chickpeas some flavor here. Okay. I'm also going to use red onion because red onion is bay. i mean it looks really pretty and stuff and it's a good flavor so if you're gonna eat raw onions i mean it tends to have a a, a milder taste to me so we're gonna use red onion also gonna use celery so um the red onion i got from aldi celery uh of course just super good for you it's high it's a high water content also uh helps move things through your intestinal tract and you you just put it in your chicken salad. I don't know. You just wanted to crunch. I don't know. You just put it in there. So that's what we're doing. And then, y'all, this is the secret ingredient right here. A friggin' mango. That's what's making it tropical. We're going to put some little mango little pieces in there and make this a situation. And I got this from Aldi as well. And the last thing is new. And so I'm proud to show you. These, we're going to use, this is going to be the wrap. Now, super small because it came from my garden. These are my babies, and so um, I grew these and nurtured these, so I'm gonna use these as little wraps. Um, you can use regular butter lettuce, or you can use a collard wrap if you wanna make them. You can use a regular wrap. I have some somewhere, I'll get it out in a minute. You could use a regular, uh, a thin wrap, something with you know 100 calories or something like that. You can use that, uh, or anything you wanna use your wrap with, but if you're being uh, health conscientious, if you're looking at your weight, Good way to get that in and get a good wrap is to use um, some sort of greenery. So I'm using my, again, y'all, this is my lettuce from my garden. I'm so excited. So that's why they look so small. So I'll show you. I have four little situations here because I didn't know what I was going to. They're so soft. It's way different when you grow it yourself, you guys. It's not even as thick and stuff as it is from the supermarket. But anyway, I grew these. So we're going to use those. I'm going to wash, wash these off and then we're going to get started. Again, this is a great spring summer situation something good oh i just ripped one. Oh man 
something good if you want to take it to, you know, you have an office party or cookouts, and you know they always have, if you are a vegan or if you're watching your weight or something, they, they're always going to be stuff that you would love to eat if they had the adaptations for it. So here I'm going to help you make the adaptations yourself. So if you didn't want to do potato salad or if you know they have a good chicken salad and you like, oh, I can't have that, you can make this chicken salad and show out. So look, my mouth is watering already, y'all. I ain't even, what in the world? Why is my mouth watering? I ain't even done nothing. All right, so I'm washing these babies off and set them to the side. All right, real quick, let's get, we gonna get, let's get this started. Hey, hey, let's get this started. Hey, hey, let's get, we about to get started, y'all. Hold on, let me take a sip of this situation right here. Let me read some comments while I'm in here. Um, Sarabian, how are you? Hey, what's up, girl? Uh, thank you, Alexis. Uh, thank you very much, Alexis. Um, all right, so I'm going to take a sip. Y'all, this is not Starbucks. I just love her. I told my daughter, I just love to feel her between, I don't know why we like, I don't know. This marketing is amazing from Starbucks, but this is a reusable cup. And what I have in it is mint and basil from my garden. And I have this little situation, which is also bad. I think you've, you've seen me before. You've seen me talk about La Manade. This is a business based out of Baltimore. It is a Bob. Uh, so she's a beautiful young lady. She has beautiful kids who help her work at the farmer's market. And she created this little situation so you can have like a, a portable lemonade. Uh, and this one is a ginger rose. So I'm, I'm having a ginger rose basil mint lemonade. And it's good. I'm just saying, Lamanon, if you want to send me some, girl, send me some. I love it. All right. So I'm going to sip that because it's nice and warm, and then we'll get started. Oh, that's real good, too, y'all. Mmm. -hmm. All right, we're going to start with these chickpeas. I'm going to keep the juice because the juice is very beneficial in the kitchen. It's uh, called aquafaba, and it's used as a binder. So we use it when we... We want to make our vegan meatloaf or a regular meatloaf or anything where we need a binder where people if you're a vegan and you use you know how you use flax seeds and, and things like that to create a bind to make it bind this is what this does so i'm going to open up three cans of this right here after, after i turn this little situation down over here because this is like it's sound like it's getting it's getting hot in here so that sounds like i need to turn that down a little bit all right, so I'm gonna use three cans. Put one in the, can you guys see? It's, it's the little ninja uh, situation that I got over here. So I'm gonna use okay, one can. My trash can is way over there. Uh, like I said, this is three cans. This is probably gonna feed about, uh, if you were going to a barbecue, I would say use, if you were, you know, you want the pan to look nice, maybe use four cans or so. Uh, the drink is called, um, um, hey Natalie, it's called Laminade. I I'll tag her in it. Uh, she is, it's so good. She has different ones. She has a turmeric. She does the, the special ones around the holidays. But this ginger rose is bay. You could, that rose gives it a, like a light, oh, it's so nice. It makes you feel, it's like a sexy drink. You'll love it. So I'll, I'll put it in the, when we're done, I'll put it in there. Um, as I was saying, I'm going to use three. But if you're going to a barbecue, use four or five. But And that's not expensive, right? At 49 cents. So if you use five, you spend like $2.50. Um, and it's going to look really pretty. Um, so save your juice. If you have a freezer or if you do a lot of cooking. where it, Things where egg is. Things that were, you know, you need some egg. You could use this aquafaba. So three cans. I'm saving my juice over to the side. Real careful, because I'll make a mess, y'all. I will tear some stuff up in the kitchen here. That's why, I, listen, just pray for me. So, three cans. All right, I'm gonna set them in the sink right now. And I am gonna look for the top. Uh, uh, right here in my face. Right here in my face. Okay, so with this, you wanna um, just pulse it a little bit. It, you don't want it to be puree, because a lot of people might be already a little leery because it is um sorry a little leery because it's chickpeas so that may be like mm, if you puree it so you want to leave a little bit of crunch in it not a whole lot but a little bit y'all hold on because my little situation over here making sure I'm, all, I'm good okay so i'm gonna pulse it for a few not a minute i'm just gonna look at it get you a spatula because you want to Put that down like that right there 
the lemonade's called Laminade. It's spelled just like lemonade, uh, but the the like the M is silent, like a space. Put a space between the E and the M. It's Laminade, and she's on Instagram. Uh, Lamin Laminade is what it's called. Hold on, I'll show you guys. Oh, here it is. Yep, she's super amazed balls. It's so good. If you're doing not doing sugar, you don't need a lot. So you just put a little bit in to just flavor the water and make you want to drink it. Or you could turn it into lemonade. You can make cocktails with it. Do whatever you want to do with it. It's good too. But it's, it does, she does use cane sugar. So be careful about that if you're watching your sugar intake. All right. So what I was saying was make sure you have you a spatula because you want to get the, you want to be able to mix these chickpeas when you pulse it. You want to mix the ones that are real mushy. You want to mush them around and the other ones so the other ones can get the... Lord, hold on a minute. That's not what I'm trying to say, y'all. Hold on. The ones that are mashed, you want those in the ones that are within the ones that are not mashed so it could be all even. You know what I'm saying? That make more sense because what I was saying before didn't make sense. Do that make more sense, church? I hope so. Hold on, y'all. It's so good, but you got to get basil and mint. I mean, you don't have to because it's good without it, but situation, y'all. This is a situation. Now, for the good part, spatula nearby, I'm about to post these chickpeas, so y'all hold on for a second, we're going to do a, you know, this little commercial break. We're going to have some So that's six times, wait y'all, six, depending on what you use, this ninja serious, so I'm going to do one more time, that might be enough. Seven times. I posted seven times. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, I'm going to bring it over to you. So look, y'all. So when I posted seven times, this is what happened. So you got some pieces in there. And it's kind of mushy. So I'm taking my spatula that I told y'all to get. And I'm mushing it around, stirring it around a little bit around these blades. To make sure I don't have no big whole pieces in there. But... It looks, it actually looks very, very, very good. So that was seven. Uh, and I think that might do the trick. No, nah, I'm lying. I'm going to do it one more time. Maybe two more. I'm going to post it two more times. And I hope I don't mess up. If I mess up, y'all stop at seven here. <laughs> if I mess up, stop at seven. All right, we're going to do two more. Uh, eight. I'm, eight. I'm still on the scared too. I did it. I'm scared because <laughs> I don't want to mess up. But... <laughs> Nine. All right. We about to put this in this bowl right here. I'm going to bring it back over to you. I'm going to put it in this bowl, and then I'm going to show you. So three cans. Get my blade situation, and I'm going to shove it out into this. Uh, not shove, but I'm going to delicately place it into the bowl. <laughs> Lies. I'm about to shove it out. Uh, come on, spatula. People watching. Need you to act right. Okay. Hold on, people. I'm doing it with my non-dominant hand, and it ain't working. Hold on. All right. We about got, we all. Now we get down to the good part, good part. Get down to the good part. Oh, this is great. Hold on. Y'all got to be, at the same time, you know you got to clean up. After you eat, you know we get the itis. So I got to be cleaning up as I go. Or it's going to be a situation, church. All right, so hold on. All right, that's going to be done with that. Put that over there carefully. And now I'm going to bring it over to you guys so you can see. Look at that. See how, look at the texture. So you got some whole, can y'all see? You got some whole beans in there. And then you got some, I mean, not really whole. They're all chopped up. So, so now look at that. Tell me that don't look like a little bit like some chicken. Y'all tell me, somebody, somebody say something. Somebody tell me a little bit. If at quick, like do like this right here. Like, quick glance, they don't look like some chicken. Do it real fast. Like, like that. Look like some chicken now. Don't let, don't let the smooth taste fool you in. Don't let the smooth taste. All right. So, now we got that in a good consistency. Again, so look, this is a pretty large size bowl. Size bowl. I would say, let me see if it say on the bottom with it. No, that's dangerous. Um, I don't know what size bowl this is, but it's, the, it's as big around as a plate. So, if that's what size bowl it is. Um, and look how much is in there. So this is a good size, three cans. So I would say four cans if you were going to go somewhere, it should be good. Because you're about to add some veggies and it's going to be, uh, it's going to look bigger. All right, so we're going to put that to the side. 
because I need this cutting board situation over here because I'm about to cut some veggies. Now, you at this point, you can, if you don't like jerk, you can do this anything to this chicken salad. It could be, or chicken salad. It could be regular, you know, with no spices in it. You can make it curry. If you like curry, you can make it jerk. You could do anything you want right here. But for today's demonstration, it's gonna be tropical. So I'm going to put some red onion in it and I'm gonna put about a oh, I say a quarter, but y'all like onions, so let's see. I'm gonna put a half of a red um, a small red onion. So one half small red onion, one half small red onion diced. Uh, watch your fingers, church. Watch your fingers. Okay, because you don't want to have no accidents. You don't want this red onion to be red because of the, the little slice of the finger. Okay, all right, so we're going to, you put those onions in there. I just want them to be nice. All right, so we're going to slide them babies in there. Bam! They part of the melody now. They part of the melody. Next, we're going to put in some celery. I am going to use right now one celery stalk because I just want to see what it looks like. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Because I, you know these ghetto measurements, a part of a hood measurements, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like some of this is just based on the way it looks. If it's pretty, I just think it's pretty. That's my sissy poo, hey sissy poo, hey sissy poo. If it's pretty, I just be believing it tastes good. So here we go. We in, we in this on. So I'm gonna chop up this celery and I'm gonna kind of dice it. Not kind of, I'm going to dice it. Uh, where's my dicer? <laughs> I need somebody here dicing this for me. Baby girl, somebody come on. Can you dice it? I need some help. All right, y'all. Mm -hmm. Get back to the good part. Hold on. Dice, 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 and I did. <laughs> but we're not gonna stop right now because we on a roll. Because I want y'all to do this. This is gonna take, if I wasn't talking, like I always am. Y'all know I like to talk. Y'all know I like to talk. But um, if this is like a 10 minute, you ain't gotta do nothing. Chop up the veggies. And if you want, you can go to Giant or a supermarket and they already chopped up. Y'all, yeah, I'm gonna put two in there. Because let me show you. So this is all one little celery stalk. This is what I got. So I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna toss that one in there and I'm gonna do another one because that's a lot. So for the three cans, we're gonna say two stalks of celery. All right? So y'all bear with me because we, we cutting up together. <laughs> y'all like that? We cutting up together. Mm -hmm. Those who are on and voted, thank you so much for participating. I, uh, it, it's really helpful when you are a foodie and you cooking, like I'm making three or four meals currently, right now, concurrently. And so it's helpful when you guys participate and let me know what you want to see because uh, I can about turn anything into, to, you know, make it anything healthy. And that's the goal, just for you to be able to have good food and uh, it be healthy and good for you. So thank you again for those who voted for this uh, tropical chicken salad. Those who didn't vote, look for it every week and vote. You can send suggestions to me. Let me know what it is that you want and uh, I'll work on uh work on it give you a shout out here and uh let everybody know that you are the reason i'm doing that particular dish so all right that looks like it's chopped up y'all you can put this in the food processor too i don't have to do all this i could just put it in that food processor that's right beside that ninja uh but to be honest it's a little bit therapeutic all right so then we got that my stuff's starting to thick over there y'all hold on sound thick y'all know what that means that when you cooking and the sound when it start to get done it thickens up accurate i don't know what that is the starch in the foods i don't know but it starts to sound thick and so we don't want it to burn i don't think my client will like that so thank you guys for bear with me on this here live situation all right next we're gonna put in hmm i'm gonna put in some do i got anything else to cut yes i'm gonna put in the mango so you just peel this mango um when if you clean if you put the stuff in your sink make sure you go back and get it out don't leave it in your sink. I'm, I'm not going to leave it. Y'all going to clean it up. But right now, it's serving as a trash can. Uh, you want a, a pretty ripe mango. So you touch it and make sure it's not too soft. 
because you want to be able to have chunks, but you don't want it hard because it won't be sweet. It's not right. So you want a little bit of sweetness to balance out this heat I'm about to put in this situation. Uh, and so right now I'm going to use one mango. I think that should be enough uh, because I'm putting in relish. So we're going to cut slice this mango. It's not going to be pretty because I, I don't, me and mango, I just be biting them. I don't like to, I mean, you know, it's not my favorite thing to cut in the world. Of that big situation on the inside. Let's go. Ay, ay, ay. Bear with me, y'all. Hold on. Next time, I bet y'all cut this mango before y'all get up here. Bet you. <laughs> this, is, this is a situation. All right, so one mango. I can tell already that's going to be enough. Oh, it looks right. Y'all want to eat some. Y'all want some of this mango? It look like it's going to be good. I mean, it look like it's good. But for right now, we're going to put it in this chicken salad. All right. That's gonna be good enough because this is getting messy. Let's <laughs> get messy, church. All right, so we're gonna dice this up. And put that in there. Ooh, hoo -hoo. don't you just love colors? Don't y'all just love colors? Let me tell y'all something I don't like about being to the side right now. I know y'all can see me cutting, but I can't see y'all. So I feel like I'm ignoring you because I'm looking over here to the, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm looking at the bowl. So I have to figure out another way. You know, I can be throwing the stuff on the floor. I can't even see because I'm looking at y'all. But we just going to trust and believe, Father, that it's working out right. Um, that I'm like Jordan and I'm going I'm to I'm hit it like I can't miss. Or oh, that's not Jordan. That's Lil Wayne. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry. That will be Lil Wayne. <laughs> hit it like I can't miss. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting my... Oh, my folks mixed up here. That's all right. All right, y'all. We almost done. Proud, Proud Mary's coming up. Oh, see what I'm saying? I'm doing three much, y'all. I was looking at the TV, listening to that, talking about Lil Wayne and cutting and throwing. I got some stuff on the floor, y'all. Act like y'all didn't see it. Come and get it up. Um, One mango. And you guys can check this out. You, and maybe I'm going to let you see it. Hold on. I'm almost done. It... Mm, Y'all, I think it can stay in two, but we're going to put one in it for right now. And then we're going to taste it. And then I'll let y'all know. All right, so right now we got in here. We have the uh, chickpeas. We have the onions. We have celery. And we have mango. Can you already tell that's going to be a good look at that? She looking good, y'all. Okay, so next I'm going to put in, after I wipe my hands, I'm going to put in uh, some relish. And let me tell you why. I'm putting the mayonnaise in last because sometimes you know how it's too mayonnaise-y. And so I want to make sure that I have all everything that has some liquid to it. So the relish, I just want to make sure it has, uh, I don't make it too wet. So I'm going to put that stuff in there first. So I'm going to put some relish. I was about to dump it. I forgot I got company. I was about to dump it. So I guess um, I'm going to put in it. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put two tablespoons in it for now. One. They Y'all y'all see that one? That's like a, that's two and a half. But we're going to say two for all intents and purposes. Two tablespoons of relish. And then we are going to put in, I'm going to start by putting in one clean spoon, one tablespoon, two tablespoons of the vegan mayonnaise. We're just going to start there. We're going to see. I made those big. I'm sorry. They were big, fat uh, spoons, but we're going to do two. All right. Now. This is where I'm going to put a little bit of, you can use any jerk seasoning you want. If you want to make yours jerk, I use, again, Auntie Nicola's. She's based out of Maryland, uh, I think Upper Marlboro, but she has a website. So, um, I believe it's, she's on Instagram, Auntie Nicola's. That's her name. So, that's the label. Her seasonings are awesome. She's a very nice young lady, too. And um, these are her seasonings. And this is jerk only, it, all it is is ginger, garlic onion nutmeg it has bay leaves pepper and salt that's it so we're gonna put about the equivalent of one teaspoon in it because you know jerk can be spicy it's those bay leaves that do something so i put about a teaspoon in there and i'll let you guys see and then here we are mm -mm -mm. now i'm about to mix and we're gonna see what we got this one i'm gonna know this when you separate the men from the boys. I'm going to find out if all my ingredients are good enough. If you are not vegan and you used to have an egg in your chicken salad, put some egg in it. 
I don't think you really need it though, but put some egg in it if you want. Did I put the salt in here? I don't, did I put the salt in here, y'all? I don't think I did. Hold on, let me see what I got. Uh, mm, I'm going to show y'all and then I, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting ready to do. I'm about to put another mango in here. Uh, Cause I don't see enough mango and I want it to be in every bite. You know how you just want every bite to have all the goodness. So, but on, on, on the wetness of the chicken, I think we did all right with the mayo here. Let me show y'all. I think we good with the mayo y'all. Honestly. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, this looks so good. Hold on y'all. Mm, 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 mm. So doesn't it look like it's sliding? You see, don't it look moist enough? I don't need any more mayo. So two tablespoons. For three cans is good. It smells good to y'all. I'm gonna peel this other real quick. I'm gonna peel this other mango and throw that in there, and then we're gonna get we're gonna get it in. Okay. How y'all doing? Thank you for hanging in there with me. If again, if you are catching the replay, hashtag replay, and I will show some love to you too. Uh, if you're still on, uh, or or yeah, if you're still on, tell me what you're having for Sunday dinner today. Um, this is actually not dinner. This is a part of my meal prep for myself for the week and for my one of my clients. So, all the stuff in the background you hear is the rest of her food. I'm about to turn back up to make sure it gets done. So, this is a second mango. So, I'm going to put another mango in. So, two mango. Alexis, you left me, boo, because you're not transcribing for me. This one don't look as ripe as the other one, but that's all right. We're going to work with it. Uh, coming from where I'm from, I'm from. Let's see, Alexis. You've been eating everything in sight. Oh, well, Alexis, you could come over. You know the food's going to be done in a minute. Yes, you are having meatloaf. You are. You are having meatloaf, baby. All right, so the second uh, mango. And y'all, that's because mango is good. I mean, you know. And I wanted to, I want to see the mango in there. So I'm going to throw that in there. And then we're going to stir it and we're going to taste, y'all. And then it's going to be, that's a, that's a wrap. Well, it's a, it's a wrap if it's good, if it's right. It's a wrap. All right, so let's see. But I tell you what, though, it smells good. Y'all need to try this and take it to a barbecue. You know what I'm saying? This is, especially if you are vegan, this is how you, you know how you got to bring something you like. My child up here, she, I know she does it. When somebody invites you somewhere and they ask you to bring something, you bring something you want to eat. <laughs> Just in case everything else is gross or, you know, ill-prepared or mal, you know, it ain't good. You like, uh. Let me get a plate of that chicken salad. <laughs> Let me put that up there with some salad. You know, like, because salad, you can, about can't mess up. And you just pray that the people wash their hands before they put it together. But you about can't mess up no salad. So you, you get your dish, this chicken salad, <laughs> and you add to some salad. Get you some salad dressing, and you call it a day. All right, people. We about to mix it up. Oh, it's pretty, y'all. Y'all got a pretty salad. What y'all doing over there? Y'all... Y'all better, I'm going to put a little bit more, I can tell, I'm going to put a little bit more jerk on it. Just a smidge. So one teaspoon, two teaspoons of jerk seasoning. And I'm going to add a third of the relish. Y'all don't judge me for that juice. Now, let me show you what I just did. I poured the juice from the relish in there. Let me tell you why. Because if I was making chicken salad, I would use the juice from the, I could have put the aquafaba. Well, if I make a chicken salad, I would use the juice from the chicken to help moisten it, you know, because I usually use chicken breast when I'm making a chicken salad. And, you know, chicken breast can be dry. So you put a little bit of that juice in there to help uh, make it uh, juicy. <laughs> that was so crazy. Of course the juice makes it juicy. Anyway, so since I didn't have any chicken juice, I forgot about the chickpea juice, but I just put in some... Um, uh, relish juice and now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt not a lot especially if you have high blood pressure something like that I'm gonna make sure you're watching your salt now this though is a pink Himalayan sea salt that I did not get from Aldi but let me tell y'all something they got it now Aldi got a bag of Himalayan finally a fine Himalayan sea salt for a dollar so Aldi does have Himalayan sea salt 
I got this one from Marshalls and I just put it in the reusable container. Cause I reuse everything y'all. Recycle America. I mean, cause you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're vegan. If you're not gonna eat meat cause you protect the animals. Can you recycle and protect the earth? I'm just saying, shouldn't they be synonymous? They should be like one and the same. That's my sister, hi sissy. Shouldn't they be one, my other sissy. Shouldn't they be one and the same, you know what I'm saying? Like vegan, save the earth, recycle, reuse bottles, uh, use glass over plastic, you know what I'm saying? That's my little thing, I digress. All right, y'all, so I'm about to taste this. Okay, should I taste it on my wrap first or should I, let me just, I don't know, we're gonna try it on the wrap. I got these little plates, I'm about to get one of these cute little plates off. I'm gonna show y'all something. For those who know me, look what color my little plate is. <laughs> Isn't it darling? Guess where I got it? Who can guess? Who can guess? If you can guess where I got this plate, you could come have dinner with me. Where'd I get this plate? Come on, somebody tell me. Mm -hmm. We cannot proceed till I have at least one, two guesses. While you're guessing, I'll look at IG. I didn't speak to, oh, hello. All my IG folks, hey, how y'all doing? Come on, y'all know where I got it? No, Rocky, not the Dollar Tree. You know me, Rocky, where I get everything in the world from. Come on, y'all. This plate has sisters and brothers. My sister knows me. It came from, they came from all these. Oh, my gosh, I was so excited. Me and my girlfriend jumping up and down like, yes. Aldi, baby, come through with the come through. So this is, you're gonna see all my little stuff served on the uh, Note Rocky Aldi, baby boo. I'm telling you, you can get everything from Aldi. I believe they like, they got that Facebook situation going on. So I believe Aldi doing, they be listening to what we need and them jokers come out with it. So Aldi for the win. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, yo, that thing is going off over there. You, hold on, let me stir this, y'all. You big man, it's going off, my green's going off. Oh, I have a three bean. I mean, three bean. I have greens over here, y'all. So this is kale, collards, and spinach going on over here for the wind on this Sunday. So let me put some more water in that. And then beside it, for those who, um, this is, again, I'm pseudo-vegan, not vegan. Beside it, I have a, my take on a uh, Maryland crab soup. So it actually is, not a crab soup, but it's a vegetable seafood soup situation. So that's what's going on back in the background. All right, so I'm gonna take two of these little leaves, lettuce that I got off my balcony that I raw, I washed off. For those who just tuned in, I washed them. So I'm gonna take these two little baby boos. I'ma take these two. I'ma take these two off out of my garden. <laughs> I have to say that because those who know me, I love my garden. She is bae, and I live. Out, this ain't even on a yard. This is a container garden on the patio. Come on, sis. You know you're welcome. I will cook if you come visit. I will make everything you want. I would, girl, we will have a feast up in here. We will have a feast. All right, so this is what we're going to do, y'all. I'm about to put this little situation on these wraps. Wait, and then y'all going to bear with me while I take a picture because you know I got to take a picture. Hold on. I'm going to put this little situation. So right down the center of my little wrap, I'm going to put too much... <laughs> of this chicken salad because that's what i just did i put too much hold on and flip it the right way if i'm gonna do this and you don't need but a little bit because these are cute little these are little lord look at these little things right here uh in this you know if you don't have a mango i just want you to know you can use like a pineapple or something like that but that'll do the trick too you can use about any fruit i just decided to use that fruit because mango is a mango Lucky I ain't put no watermelon in it because everybody who know me know I want to put some watermelon in it. But don't let the smooth taste fool you. I got a watermelon. All right, so here we are. I'm just going to take the picture, y'all look. Do you guys see this situation? This is just some chickpeas and some, oh, let me eat some because my mouth is watering. So let me eat some and then I'm going to tell y'all if it's good because it can be pretty on this cute little green teal Tiffany blue plate, but guess what? If it ain't good, I'ma throw it down. I'ma throw it down. It don't even matter. So let's see. Hold on, y'all. 
You pray over your food, Father God, in the name of Jesus. You know, bless the hands that prepare this. Bless all who are watching, Lord. And be with us and, and help us to have a good week. Because, you know, Mondays, sometimes we dread Mondays. But, God, I believe that in the name of Jesus, this week will be good. And in your name, I pray. Amen. Sidebar, God, please let it be good because people watching me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, then. Okay, then. Um, I'm going to pick it up. I guess I could cut the tail off. I'm going to eat it, but I can cut the tail off. Mondale, come. Come see me. I'll sell you on vegan. Uh -huh. I'm a vegan. I'm a, I'm a, a vegan. I'm a, I'm a, a vegan. I'm a, I'm a vegan. Hey, oh, I like it. Wait a minute, Beyonce. Since you all on this whole vegan thing, if she do it, y'all, it came here first. Wait a minute. Sidebar, that was hot. Oh my God! <laughs> Try to get my bag, y'all. Can y'all call Beyonce? Who know Beyonce? Call her since she plant based and everything. She could change that. I, I, I'm a, a vegan. I'm a, I'm a, a vegan. I'm a, oh yeah, that's hot right there. Okay then. Uh, y'all watching, so I can't do it. But I will put some hot pepper. I mean, some pepper on top of this. All right. Please be good. Oh baby. Mm, 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 mm. Let me let y'all see it again. Just in case it ain't good, y'all want jokes. See how pretty? But if it ain't good, I'm going to tell you. Because I ain't going to sell you a bill of goods. It's gonna, if it's bad, I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Almost cussed. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Lord, have mercy. Ah. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh my God! Somebody better marry this girl. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lord have mercy, y'all. Woo, y'all. Oh my God. Smoothie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all, I wish it wasn't good. I wish I was lying. My god, I wish I was lying. Oh, oh, mm, 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 mm. Excuse me for hollering. I ain't mean to. I was about to lie, so I ain't mean to holler. I meant to holler. But if it bothers you, I, don't, I apologize if you're offended, but God. It's got everything. It's got that germ, that jerk is a little spicy. And then that mango is like sweet, it evens it out. This baby, mm, I'm eating stuff off my fingers. Y'all, it's good. Y'all but oh my God. Y'all, mm -mm. grow your own during lettuce too. Let me show y'all something. Mm. Look at this bag. It was, let me get the one that tore already. When you bite it, it doesn't have the same. It's like the difference in the texture of the friggin' lettuce. Man, I shouldn't. I wish I had a farm. It's so different. It tastes different. Mm. Mm. Y'all, I need y'all to do a go fund me. So I can open my dirty restaurant. That's the bomb. This right here is going to sell out. I'm getting ready to be rich. Oh, uh, this right here. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. This is rude. Y'all have some. Honey. This thing is everything. It's tropical. Let me let me hold up the sign so y'all can see it. Oh, my God. Oh, just what it is right here, y'all. Tropical chicken salad for the win. Here. Oh my God. I don't know what to tell. Let me show y'all again. Let me give y'all a little slice of heaven. Stairway to heaven. Hey, stairway to heaven. And we're going chickpea by chickpea. Hey, y'all about to get into it. Yo, let me tell you how much this costs, y'all. Hold on a minute. Hold on, let me tell you how much. Uh, uh, uh. That's 
That's one dollar fifty cent. Mm. Yum. Just less than five dollars. Less than five dollars. Yo, y'all ain't ready. I'm so glad y'all joined me. Uh, I'm gonna do this again next week just because it was so darn good. I'm gonna do it next week. Look, Felicia, girl, look. And my little lettuce that came out of my yard. I'll make some when I come home. I will make some. I want to go home just because I need my mama. To, with my mama. And my sister's still on. Mama, you see this? <laughs> mama, I made it. I'm about to be rich. Mark my words, wealthy. This right here is the... I, I'm going to open a store and this is all I'm going to sell. I'm going to educate and sell this. This is all going to be up there. Yo, this is the bomb. Y'all got any questions? I'm about to devour this. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so rude. <laughs> I'm so rude. So sorry. Y'all have some. If you're in the DMV area, stop by. I got something to share. No, I'm probably going to get some of that to my client, but I'll make some more. This is the bomb. Excuse me. I'm going to eat the other one because I made it and it's, it's rude to waste food. Mm, 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 mm. 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 That mango. That mango said, oh, you thought it was over, huh? And here I go. Bam. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, let me know if y'all want me to make some for you. This is going to be the restaurant, y'all. Stop that GoFundMe, I'm trying to tell you. I'll have me a food truck. I'll drive city to city feeding people chickpeas. Ain't lying. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, mm. I feel the goodness. Good thing I got some more. All right, y'all. That's it right here. That's all I got. It's delicious. That jerk, this everything. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I ain't gonna never have that tropical smoothie again. That's delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm about to make somebody mad because it's about to be bay right here. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, tropical chicken salad. You saw the ingredients. You saw it didn't take but like a few minutes to make, and you saw my reaction. I'm probably about to make me six more, and then I'm going to feel good. Next, we do a little tropical cafe, but wait till you taste this wrap. I mean, I'm going to go there and get some other stuff, but I won't buy that darn wrap again. Because this right here. I mean, you, I'm eating with my fake look. Hmm. Okay, y'all. Mm. That's gone. I'm sad. I gotta make some more. Mm. Lord have mercy. Well, y'all, thank you for being my inspiration. To all those who voted for that, y'all are all winners in my book. Let me see if I can't send y'all something. I wish I can send y'all some of that food, but... Baby, when I tell you, mm, 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 mm. Lord have mercy, that was good. Thank y'all for joining. Y'all got any questions? I'm, I mean, that was good. I'm trying to get myself together and act re civilize myself. I don't act like a darn fool, but um, you know, some, sometimes it be like that. Um, Lord, that got me thinking. Thinking about you, girl. Uh, thinking about you, girl. Uh, uh. Okay, y'all. I don't re put them on that um lip gloss. Oh, this one the beauty supply store. It's got rose hips. It was ninety nine cent. This my bae. And then I added on Fenty Beauty, but she over there. So I just Rihanna. I'm bowed out. So can you send me some more? I'll shoot you the address when we're not live. Inbox me. How'd it look, y'all? They nice and shiny. Okay. Praise the Lord then. Alright. I love you cuz. So um, there you have it. Happy Sunday. You got your um oh let me turn this down because 
You got your uh, chicken salad. You got your me making it for you. Um, call me if I can help you out. All right, anybody got any questions, comments, concerns? All right, well, until next Sunday. <clears throat> Wait a minute. <clears throat> But then in my spirit. Mm -mm. Until next Sunday. Um, uh, let me know if I can make something for you. Uh, I'm about to call myself the remix queen of something. Because I remix something. And it would be good. So that is bae. So y'all let me know what I can make. Next week I might make. Um, I know it's cuz. I know it's you saying. I say I love you cuz. Um. Next week, let me know what y'all want me to make. I was thinking about macaroni and cheese. So a mac and cheese with a, a cashew sauce. That's really good. So if y'all want to see that, let me know. Or the cauliflower hash is, is good too. My client, she just didn't want that today. Oh, you want me to make the curry? Yep, you know what's in? I can make the curry jackfruit. Okay. But that right there? Ah. Uh, I was going to make, I mean, really, it was a lot of it was for my client, but I'm about to put it in my own meal prep and put it in my fridge. It's so good. And it's good, too. But, all right, y'all. Thank you so much uh, for your attention and your love. Please share this video so we can show others how we can eat healthy and still have good food and make you want to holler. Oh, that's, I should have said that. Make you want to holler. That's what I'm going to call it, y'all. A make you want to holler rap. When y'all, when I get my restaurant, it's going to be called Make You Want to Holler Rap. And then you will know why. Make You Want to Holler. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If you like this shirt, um, Pseudo Vegan, and some other shirts, I'll be showing you some more shirts. Uh, you can contact Felicia. She is on, I, I mean, right now she's on Insta, uh -uh. IG and Instagram the same. She's on Facebook. Felicia Wave, girl, say hey if you're still on Felicia uh, had great turnaround. She's receptive. She was excellent um, getting these shirts out to me. And I'm about to send her some more because I need some more. But Felicia was excellent. So Felicia, thank you. Felicia Anderson, thank you so much for being amazing. Uh, and you guys have a great week. If there's anything I can do to help you out, let me know. Um, again, if it's something you want me to cook or you want to know something about something that I may know something about, <laughs> let me know. I'll help you out. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Let's see if I have any final words. That's what people be doing when they get off, don't they? They have some words of encouragement. Let's see what my words for the week would be. My words for the week would be balance. Um, harmony. Harmony. Because balance may be difficult to achieve. You know, something heavier, lighter over here. But if those things are in harmony with your spirit with your soul with your dream with your goal with your ideas with you if those things are in harmony with you trust those things do those things so the word of the week is harmony you know um it's just we always say balance and i say that talk about finding balance but here lately uh when i was asked what is pseudo vegan um it is me finding foods that are in harmony with my body, those things that help uh, edify me, keep me healthy, keep me strong, um, support where I'm going. Those things are are what I consume. And so harmony is sticking out right now. So I just want you guys this week to think about harmony. The things you listen to, the things you touch, the things you partake in, make sure they're in harmony with you and your spirit. Trust your spirit, trust your spirit. Um, that's all I got. That was real good. I need to go meditate on that. That was real good. So thank you guys so very, very much for watching. Again, please share. And I'll see you next week on Vegan with a Twist. Bye-bye for now. I think if I figure out how to end the video. Well, Facebook, y'all got me a little bit longer. Facebook. Okay, now I'm going to say bye. Have a great week.